What up, Tube? I'm here today to talk to you about WISE, the WISE plug and the WISE smart switch, which both work with Alexa very well at half the cost. I'm going to give you a little show here of how or what it looks like. Those are the plugs, and this is the smart switch. And both of these are, uh, let's show you here, Amazon enabled. You can get the Google Play Store and download the app for uh, iPhone. I use them all around the house, all throughout the house. Um, they're working amazing. I have not done the switch yet. I just bought the switch today. I thought I'd show you guys how they work, and how to install them, and how they, awesome they are. The Amazon plug itself, I believe, is one for 35 bucks at like Home Depot, where I picked these up two in one pack for $24.99, so 25 bucks for that. And this was, I believe, $12. So um, the one thing about these though, is you can only use these on where it's only one plug or, or one switch. So for instance, over here, I have my kitchen lights, right? I have a kitchen switch here. And then over there is another kitchen switch. You can't use them there. It has to be only a direct switch line that actually you know, turns it on and off. Like for instance, I'm going to show you, uh, my garage, my closet, and then, uh, the laundry room is where I want to install the, um, actual, uh, the actual switch itself and the plug. I've got a few installed. Uh, I'll show you how they work, but, um, also I'm, I'm going to try to hook this up to something and see if I can show you. I just don't know what else I have left. Uh, I do have a couple lamps, but I'm not going to use them, but I can show you how to set them up. So uh, let's get to it, shall okay, we? Okay, it says these switches require a neutral switch. Uh, normally you just break the, the hot here and then that just breaks the switch on and off. But according to this, you have to have the neutral, which is why they give you this jumper cable with it. So I'm gonna have to wire up this neutral into this wire nut and then we're gonna have to wire the uh, neutral up with the uh, actual switch itself. So. Let's get going. All right, on the back of these switches, you're going to notice here, you got a line, neutral, and load. Okay, as I said before, normally the two switches, you get your your two blacks, your hots here that are what's going to be your, your break between on a normal switch. So what happens here is you're going to take your neutral, your white that you did the jump to, and of course you're going to plug it in neutral, and then one black into line and one black into load and then that should be the way to wire it up let's get it done all right she's all wired up and the first thing you want to do before you go putting every single thing back in is you want to test the light so i'm going to, have to go turn the breaker back on but you can still use this manually um, I believe it's like you tap so many times. Uh, I just read it. So let's see. We'll get that in a minute. But anyway, it's going to give me a blue flashing light up here while I'm connecting it to the Wise app. And I'm hoping I can do a screen record or screen capture to show you guys. Uh, because uh, I want to show you how to set it up and how to pair it with Alexa as well. So I'm going to go turn the breaker on and I'll be right back. Funnily enough, you did have to make sure that the, the black wire, one coming from one side, went to one side. There was a line and load. We're normally on a switch like this. This literally, just think of this as the wire. You're just breaking the wire. So on this, it doesn't make a difference. For some reason, this one did. So now I've got the light flashing. So now that means I got to discover a device. So hopefully I'm going to screen record on the WISE app with you and show you guys how to find this device and set it up and so on and so forth. So let's see what happens. All right, guys. Hopefully you can hear me. We're going to go into the WISE app here. And as you see, I was looking to see how to wire it up there. Uh, let's get... Oops. Go back. Yes, it's blinking. I got to get through all this stuff real quick. Sorry. Okay, here we go. And now we're gonna search for this device. So what you wanna do is you wanna hold it close. I'm about six inches away from it. As you can see, it found it. I'm gonna type in my password here, so I'll block that out. All 
Okay, as you can see, it's adding, connecting, and finishing setup. It is set up. Now, I want to show you something. It also turns off. We're going to name this closet, by the way. Closet. Okay, so well, I never, I don't ever share device. Uh, I'm gonna get to firmware later. All right, so I've got this switch. Now you can turn it on and off with this, as you can see. You can turn it on and off here, and then I'm gonna go and show you how to set it up on Alexa. So Alexa has already discovered it. The first time I did this, it took it a while for Alexa to discover it. So you go down there to devices where I just went. You see it says one switch discovered, view switch, closet, and the power is on. Now I've got an Alexa in, in my bedroom here. So let's uh, let's see what happens here. Let's get out of the Alexa. And Wise and all that. And then um, let's go with Wise. Actually, I'm going to get out of screen monitoring here. And we're going to go to video. Alexa, turn on the closet. Okay. Alexa, turn off the closet. Okay. Alexa, turn on the closet. Okay. Now, as you can see, I have a shoe display here that I used a wise plug with, which I'm getting ready to show you how to hook up. But I put LEDs on the back, so let me show you that. Alexa, turn off the closet. Alexa, turn on the shoe display. Okay. And as you'll see, I have a display and then they just transform between red and yellow and blue and green and all that stuff. It's pretty neat, but uh, I did it with LEDs. There's another video I'll put at the end of that how I did that, but that's with a wise plug. So let's show you how the wise plug works. All right, guys, now I'm going to show you how to do the wise plug. I'm going to do it. Uh, using my Fender acoustic amp and I'm gonna use that plug in over there these are really 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 simple now there's a reason that I'm doing this with my amp um, I've done about every light that I want in the house lamp uh, lamp wise and the problem is is you have to like you can't name all the same so for instance like our family rooms called lamp uh, my wife and I both have a, a lamp on our nightstand so I have like one's called my light one's called my nightstand uh, here in the music room, uh, there's a lamp over there that we call the music lamp. Um, so basically, uh, you have to make sure that when you have these plugins, they're all different names. And it really only pertains to lamps or something that you have similar, similar like that. This is my only acoustic amp. So I'm just going to show you how to do it on here. And it's pretty easy. I'll show you the setup and all that fun stuff. So. Anyway, you're gonna take this in and all you're gonna do, it's really, really simple, is you're just gonna plug it in, right? Okay, now, see how that light's flashing? Okay, let's go to screen recorder. All right, so we're gonna go to screen recorder and you're gonna go down to the Wise app. And now what thing was uh, flashing, as you saw, what you're gonna do is you come up here in the top left corner and you're gonna hit the plus button, you're gonna add device, and then this is power and lighting, and you'll see right there it says wise plug second down wise plug and then you're just going to hold it <clears throat> near it here and it's going to let it plug in it takes a few to recognize it okay now i got to do my network here Okay, now it's pairing the plug over um, my Wi-Fi, connecting. Okay, now I'm gonna name this uh, guitar amp. Uh, AMP. And finish. And we're, I will skip that. Okay, now I have a guitar amp. Now, I'm going to go ahead and get out of the screen recorder here. All right, so you simply see that the light is not blinking now. I'm going to plug in my guitar. Oops, sorry. I'm going to plug in my guitar amp. Make sure it's turned on. All right, as you can see, the red light on my guitar amp is on. 
Now, I want to show you how to pair with Alexa. Okay, you see Alexa has one new notification. So what we're going to do here is we're going to take this and then uh, go down to devices once again. And see at the top it says one plug discovered. Do that. Hit the guitar amp and the power is on. Now watch. Now you'll hear the click. Okay, now I'm going to exit out of this and show you a video. All right, now we've got the uh, wires plugged in. We've got this uh, switch off. And all we got to do is tell Alexa what to do now. So, Alexa, turn on the guitar amp. Okay. As you see, came on for her to click. We'll do it again. We've got the red light on the left, blue light, or the click down at the bottom there. So, let's do it one more time. Alexa, turn off the guitar amp. Okay. And it's as simple as that. So, that, my friends, will conclude the video. I hope you really liked it, and I hope that uh, you'll subscribe to the channel. Give it a like if you did. If you have any questions, let me know. But once again, that was the Wise Plug-In and the Wise Smart Plug. Uh, they're the more affordable option to work with Alexa, as you can see. And, um... They're really easy to hook up. Uh, the switch is a little bit more difficult. As you see, the wise plug is simple as all get out. The first one, though, did give me a little bit of problem. I think it, the first one, once it took a while to find it, but it seems like once I plugged that first one in, I think I probably got like six of them now. They found it as quick as you just saw. So do me a favor over here, hit the little subscribe button, check out one of my other videos over here, and uh, have a great day. Don't forget, Keep on tubing. Check y'all later. What up, tube?